Welcome to the channel, guys. Steve right here again. Everybody keeps saying I should visit Cape Town to check out the real estate opportunities. And guys, you won. I'm right here somewhere in Landono. It's a very small private community right here in Cape Town. And I want to give you guys a tour of this lovely mansion right here. So it features about seven bedrooms. I was also told it's north facing, so you have the sunset right here. You know, the property is wrapped in a glass facade, so every room has a view of the ocean and the sunset as well. It has an entertainment area, two levels of entertainment area, two living rooms. It's sitting on about 1,223 square meters. It's about three levels. It also has a cinema as well. The landscaping is really, really amazing. And right here, we even have a bathtub on here, right? The asking price for the property is about 60 million rands, which is about 3.5 million US. And of course, if you're on the market looking for a property like this, you can look at the description section. I'm going to put all the contact information that you need, all right? So without further ado, let us begin the tour. So this is where we're going to start the video from and then we're going to walk all the way to the top, all right? Now this is sort of like an entertainment area, right? You have these lovely beams and columns on here. Still allow you to admire the ocean from here even when you are swimming. And it's kind of like private, so you have um, the trees covering all around so your the neighbors can't really see what's happening right here. So just in case you want to throw yourself a party, it, it's really private in as much as it's on a slope land, all right? So these stairs on here leads us into the entertainment, the indoor entertainment area where you have the cinema and all of those things. So come along, I'm gonna show you. Entering the entertainment area, there's a mini lounge for your gaming console and a table tennis that comes with the property. The entertainment area comes with a bar that can also serve as a mini kitchen for preparing basic snacks for your entertainment. Now you have the washroom over here and you can also have your bath right here. So probably before you go to swim, you probably have your bath here and go take a swim, all right? And then you have an outdoor area on here. You can see the here, have fun with your friends and you still have a view of the ocean. So that's what this whole space is about. You have the bar slash a mini kitchen, a table tennis, a TV console for your consoles, a uh, sit down area as well. This other space right here leads us into the cinema. Once again, it's customizable, so you can go ahead and put the normal chairs if you want. It's soundproofed and everything, it has its own cooling system and everything to make your movie time very enjoyable. Okay, so that's what it is for the entertainment area. Now, there are two staircases leading up. So you have the one outside and you have this one. Something I didn't mention as well, this entertainment area has inbuilt speakers, so you can call a DJ and also you just connect the speakers and you have a great time, all right? For privacy's sake, you can press a button and you can shut down this whole part from the house. So say you have like a very loud party happening down there and you don't want to disturb the people on this floor, so you can shut this down and treat this other part of the house as a different part entirely. So let's go upstairs and then we're going to look at what the first, second and third floor has to offer. This space, I really don't know what the idea for this space was, but it leads you right into the living room. One thing I really do like about the living room is the glass facade. You have a floor to ceiling, double volume glass fa facade, so you can really, really do appreciate that indoor, outdoor living, where from your living room you have views of the ocean and then you can just really see what's happening on there. It makes the house look very spacious because the kitchen is open and they also have an entertainment area on there. Everything is open so it gives you that illusion that the space is very, very, very open. And I also like the fact that they use glass railing so it gives you also that illusion that the space everywhere is open and then you feel like you're living in a true mansion because come to think about it, a thousand square meters in this side of Cape Town is a lot. So you have to make sure the owners actually have 
that illusion of having enough space all right on the left hand side you'd find the first room which is the guest room and of course with its own gigantic balcony the good thing about the property is every room has a balcony which is really nice and then you have very huge windows so at any point in time you can open up your there are split units on the property but you're really not going to use it because the breeze from here is really cold and fresh so you have this very nice couch on here and yeah the property comes with the furnishing the owners of the property are willing to give all the furnishing so if you're buying you're buying with the tv you're buying with the couch the very is very nice table i really like it here and guys the glass facade just look at this so from this particular floor you can admire the ocean on there you can look at the pool on there it's just nice it's breathtaking and coupled with the fact that it's a double volume once again gives you that illusion of space this part of the house serves as the main living room let's go on to the other side it has an exit on here directly into the entertainment pool but i'll show you from the other end this is uh this is the kitchen right very nice setup uh this is the first island on here can serve as a mini dining as well and this is where you do all of the cooking it comes with smeg furnitures which is really really classic and nice i like the countertops and you know once again smeg burners and then you have the heat extractor here as well everything on here comes with the property this kitchen is fully equipped with dishwasher dryer an inbuilt oven and a microwave with a double door refrigerator and nice cabinetry the kitchen opens up into the second entertainment space where you'd have a sit-out area a machine for brying and another sit-out area this space also comes with a hot tub for warming yourself on a cool morning or evening it all comes with sound system so you can connect your you know music software whatever and have your music going there for you you have glass railings once again make the space look big you have a view of the ocean your entertainment area down and you also have a hot tub on here very nice the owners of the properties or the developers really made this property like that vacation home so if you're living here you want to see like you're you're in vacation every time this property comes with seven bedrooms one of which is a standalone cottage that can be shut off from the main property with its own exit and entrance it has its own living room an ensuite bedroom with wardrobe space and its own balcony the balcony wraps all across to the end but i'm not going to show you the balcony from this and i'm going to show you from the main living room on this floor because they all share balconies so when we get to that point we're going to go check out what the balcony looks like but right now we're just going to go downstairs and then continue with the tour so right now we are back at the second entertainment area where you have the living room and the kitchen and a massive space for your guests so we're going to go back into the property right now and get on to the second floor where we're going to see the main living room and the other rooms with a very lovely balcony on there let's go The other four bedrooms, one of which is the main bedroom, can be found on the third and fourth floor. This property, the way the architecture was done was, in as much as they wanted like a lifestyle home, a home where you can do parties and have endless views of the ocean. It's really private, you can shut off different areas of the room. So this way you can shut off the entertainment area. This staircase leads you to only the bedroom. So only the bedrooms have access to this particular staircase and then this staircase that down here takes you onto the entertainment area the living room and all and this staircase on here takes you to the top floor where you have the garage and all of this so you see how everything was arranged for privacy sake and functionality as well on the top floor there are three identical rooms and they all share a common balcony the bedrooms are well sized with bathrooms and enough wardrobe space with a tv of course some of the rooms feature skylights and huge windows for proper ventilation. The storage is really long and huge. And this is what I like to call the second primary room because it has the biggest um, bathroom on this floor. It also has the biggest storage closet or what you like to call it, the, the wardrobe also. And it's, the space is big as well. So this is like the second primary bedroom this right here is what the bathroom looks like it has a standing shower on this end it has his and hers vanity and a bathtub as well i love the the towels the quality of the finishing it's real nice and then you have the wc 
on that end. Now I'm going to take you to the primary bedroom, which is just right here. This is where the decision maker sleeps. On entering the main bedroom, you're welcomed by a large wardrobe and a see-through showing the views of the ocean on the outside. This is the most spacious bathroom. It has a standing shower, his and hers vanity, and the countertop and the cabinetry here, it's kind of nice with its own lighting on here. So it all sings together and the theme I'm getting here is grey and white. And then you have a bathtub on here and guys, the developers didn't forget about you. They left you a view on here. So while you're having your shower, you can get a very nice view. There's a WC on here. The space is quite bigger. It has its own skylight, which is always going to light up the space every time. Let's go take out the bedroom itself and then the view we're getting out of it. Okay, so this is the main living room. The furnishing you're seeing here is very basic. They just wanted to show you where the beds would be and all of that. So if you're going to get, buy this room, you definitely have to up the game with the furnishing, which is really going to bring the beauty from the space, all right? Now you have the TV on here. If I had this unit, I would probably make a very nice console and then put the bed on this end. So it's still up left to you to come and put in some creativity in the interior design to bring out the space. All right, so this is the view we're getting out of the primary bedroom. It has these very nice columns and, uh, and beams on here. It leaves a little space for you to admire the blue skies. And if you walk all the way to the edge, you have a view of the other balcony that has the four bedrooms. Really nice. So I think the way they designed this floor is the, the owner or the person in the primary bedroom kind of has eye on every part of the house because from here, I can see the entertainment area, the two entertainment area, I have a view of that. I also have a view of the balconies on here and this room is actually attached to the other room so if you have someone that you're caring for can stay close by. So this room is sort of like, it's centrally located. Even without a CCTV camera, you have views on the property. But guys, the views here is, you're having like a 360, almost a 360 because you have a view on my left, on my right, and right here in the middle. Guys, let me know what you think because this is breathtaking, guys. This is lovely. It looks like a place I would love to live. This property should have sold because why not? Why not? And I was told there's also a beach. So if you're living here, you can just walk down the road and there's a beach on a very private community, really small community, and your next door neighbor might just be a billionaire. Who knows? So the net worth of people here is pretty high. So if you walk to this edge, there's a little tiny detail I want to tell you. So you see that property on there that has like a rock as part of the facade. It's uh, what I like to call an architectural masterpiece and it's a very popular building. It was used in the popular movie Blood and Water. The name of the property is called Villa Mirage, if I got that right. So um, very nice to see a property like this close to the one that you'd have if you decide to own this for yourself, right? Um, so we're going to go back right now and continue to the, the tour, seeing the other floors. So from the ground floor, this is the fourth floor, right? If that makes sense. And it's the ground level because this area was built on a slope. So if you're driving your car, this is the floor that is going to welcome you to the property. And then you can either use the lift or the staircase and start accessing all the floors, right? So what I'm trying to show you guys. So this is the ground level right here. This is where I would have started the tour from, but I wanted to show you from the entertainment area first. Really nice. Now, I don't know if you have five, six, seven, eight vehicles on there. You can pack everything here. This is like the outside space. You can use it as an outdoor garage. You can take like one, two, three, four cars, right? So on my left, on my right, you have two garages that can take four cars in total. So two cars can get in here. It has its own private toilet just in case. And it has a door accessing the property. And also on this end, you have two garages on here also has a toilet as well and an access into the property from the lift or the staircase so guys we're actually at the street level right now uh look the properties right here they have a really high appreciation rate because if they are all oceanfront properties 
end, it's on the hill, you're getting very mad views. The architecture is great. There's greenery, you have two entertainment areas, you have two living rooms, seven freaking bedrooms, guys. All right, a whole family can live here and privacy is top notch right here on the property. So all of those features is coming at 3.5 million US, 60 million rands. I love it right here. The owners of the property, they are, they are, they are open to negotiations, that's what I was told. So if you love the property, I can link you up and then you can start having that conversation as to getting this for yourself. So once again, I want to thank the leasing agent for giving us access to this property. I'm looking at towing more properties right here in Cape Town just to show you guys the real estate right here in Cape Town. So please subscribe to the channel if it's your first time. My name is Steven. We make videos here about travel, real estate. I travel around showing you very beautiful places, showing you the real estate opportunities, the resorts, and all of these beautiful things that's not been shown about my lovely continent africa all right on the next video i'm going to see you guys soon peace